so what happened to me, I guess to try to finish the story off, is that uh, I eventually ended up down at the blood reserve in southern Alberta, Blackfoot country. If any of you have been down there? Uh, close to Waterton National Park. Um, and that experience changed my life. I taught social studies down there. Uh, um, and as a, you know, I guess kind of a generic Indian who grew up in the city, um, I had a lot of questions, right? And, and what happened to me on the blood reserve is that I was gifted a re-education um, by a lot of people. Um, Bernard Tallman, Rita Tallman, Narcissus Blood, Alvin Mountain Horse, Ramona Bighead, Joyce Goodstriker. All these people I owe a debt of gratitude to. Because now, I, now that I've come back home, I'm able to, to I guess, uh, share what, what, I've, what I've been taught. So that's what I'm going to try to do today. So that's why I'm a Cree who speaks Blackfoot, and most of my examples come from the Blackfoot because that's what I've been taught, right? Because my own people, the Papas Chase, no longer exist as a band, right? So this is why I'm so interested in place and belonging, right? How is it that Aboriginal people belong but don't belong? It's that duality. <laughs>